Manchester City hate and fear is an illness. And it's been growing and growing over the last eight to ten years. Gradually getting worse. More and more football fans of rival teams getting angry, upset, and um, blaming Manchester City for their own club's failings. This is borderline illness right now. In fact, it's not even borderline. Some fans are too far gone. The 115 seems to be put around everywhere. The 115 is in every tweet towards a Man City fan anytime they dare to reply to anything or even just post out their club's victory. 115. 115. It's actually embarrassing. And they're all scared. This is what it boils down to, which is where the fear and the hate comes from. Year after year, Manchester City clean up. Year after year, Manchester City win trophies. Year after year, they do exactly what's required at their football club to be the best. Not just make up the numbers like most other teams do. that are not interested in winning. Now, I want to share this article because I've seen an awful lot of people over the last couple of days uh, waffling about Man City are going to get... Uh, have been sued. Man City sued. Yeah, Man City sued. Okay, cool. So I want to share the actual article where this story has come from because quite clearly it says in the headline, yeah, something completely different. But there we go. Uh, do smash the like button up. Uh, do make sure you are subscribed. 71% um, of you who viewed yesterday's video were not subscribed. It's amazing how when you clickbait the hell out of titles and waffle nonsense, that people, more people will watch it, but they refuse to subscribe. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway, we are here all year for this. Do can play that game you're playing. I might have to get Bobby Brown on the green screen. We got Bobby Brown. Uh, do smash the like button. Uh, all jokes aside, we need to uh, we need to go through this with a fine tooth comb because I'm sick to death of it, and I'm an Arsenal fan. And it pains me to say it. That's a good phrase, that one, isn't it? It pains me to say it as an Arsenal fan. It pains me. Pains me, but I'm going to say it and it doesn't pain me. Do me a favour. Anyway, clubs may. May. That key three-letter word there, people, may have to sue Man City. Man City have not been sued. So where all these people are getting Man City are being sued from, I have no idea. But we're going to read this article out. Uh, this is from the Daily Times. Uh, Martin Ziegler, chief sports reporter. Uh, I don't know who that is, if I'm honest. Um, the name rings a bell, though. Didn't he play for Man City? No, he didn't. <laughs> Maybe he did. Who knows? Um, but I've heard that name Ziegler before. Where have I heard that name from? Maybe it is him. Who knows? Anyway, uh, clubs may have to sue Man City for compensation before case concludes. Legal experts say the club are facing possible November deadline to make claims against City, but the outcome of hearing into 115 alleged breaches is not expected until New Year. So, any club that wants to sue Man City has until November to do it. Possible November deadline, it says. Possible. Possible. So, all these people that are sitting there making out, Man City have been sued. Well, no, may have to sue. Okay, so they've not been sued. And it's a possible November deadline. So it might not even be a November deadline to say, yo, we want to sue you. It might actually be October. It might actually be December. It might not actually even be a deadline. So again, people just take the word sue, sue, uh, a Man City, and um, off they go with the uh, agenda. Because like I said, the Man City fear and hate is an illness. Their clubs, Arsenal, Man United, Tottenham, Chelsea, um, Chelsea to a lesser degree, to be fair, but all the other clubs, majority of these fans, not all of them, majority of them, oh, wait, 115, 115, oh, but you cheated. Okay, mate, are you a lawyer? Oh, you're not. What kind of inside information do you have that all of these people haven't? And this is why I get the ump. Because the agenda against Manchester City for actually being good is crazy. Now, if you actually go and have a look at Man City's finances, 
in terms of football player buys and sales over the last five years. I think their net spend, and people tell you, oh, net spend's not a thing. Nobody cares. Yeah, you've bought in these players, you've got rid of these players. How much is the difference? Yeah, that is what it is. So anyway, I think Man City's net spend in the last five years, I think it was 38 million, 38.6 million, something like that. Do you know why? Because they actually know how to sell their players. Julian Alvarez, prime example. Cole Palmer, prime example. 40 million for a kid who played 40 games. Julian Alvarez, bought in for 14 or 15 mil. Boom, gone for 62 and a half million pounds. So Man City are probably, along with Real Madrid, the best two-run clubs in world football. And guess what? Funny that, isn't it? The two best-run clubs in world football keep winning everything. Make it make sense. It's almost like if you actually do what's required and actually uh, set your business up properly, uh, you actually end up being successful. Now, let's continue with this article. Now, do smash the thumbs up. Uh, do subscribe. Bless up to the 520 that subscribed since yesterday. Uh, we have hit 31K, so thank you very much. Uh, Road, we're soaring. We're soaring like an eagle towards the 35K. Premier League clubs who were considering suing Man City for compensation over the alleged 115 rules breaches may, may again, see that little three-letter word, may have to lodge their legal claims before the outcome of the case is known because of time limits. Legal experts have told the Times there is a six-year limitation period for bringing a claim for breach of uh, contract which could also apply in City's case and potentially expire in November, potentially. Um, it will then be six years since the publication of the Football Leaks document by the German website, Der Spiegel. So, let's carry on. The outcome of the independent commissions hearing into City's alleged breaches of the Premier League rules will not be known by then, however. The hearing is set to start next month and last 10 weeks with the outcome not known until the early new year, and any appeal process potentially concluded before the end of the season. It is believed that some clubs have taken legal action advice. So again, legal action advice. Okay, over possible compensation claims, which could total hundreds of millions of pounds if serious charges against City are proved. If. Clubs could claim a loss of income for missing out on the league title or European competitions over the course of several seasons. Not quite sure how they're going to work that out. Not quite sure how they're going to work that out because let's say a team would have qualified for Europe. How do you know how far they would have gone in Europe? So how do you know the compensation package? Interesting. Anyway, um, while, uh, sorry, when Everton would dock points last season for a breach of profitability and sustainability rules, the same independent commission was also given the power to rule on compensation claims from rival clubs. The clubs have been given no indication of a similar arrangement for the city hearing and may, again, may, that three letter word again, people, have to lodge a direct legal claim. Let's carry on. The 1980 Limitation Act sets six-year limitation period for legal claims for breaches of contract in the UK, but allows an expectation where that breach has been concealed. A senior lawyer with wide experience of legal cases in sport said that one course of legal action by our rivals would be for alleged breach of contract. The six-year limitation period under Limitation Act, but that is subject to an exception where a person has concealed their breach in which case you must bring the claim within six years of when you have discovered that breach acting reasonably, the lawyer said. It could be argued, therefore, that the six years might begin from Der Spiegel's first publication. OK, we'll finish this off. Bosh. Uh, City are facing a threat of relegation from the Premier League. Never going to happen, guys. Sorry to break it to you. Uh, not happening. Uh, if the most serious charges are approved, which they won't be. So it is what it is. Uh, the alleged rule breaches include not providing accurate financial information for nine separate seasons, not providing full details of Mancini's pay over four seasons. He was at the club from 2009 to 13, and not providing full details of players' remuneration. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, including the former midfielder, Yaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Colo, Co- Yaya Torre over six seasons from 2010 to 2016. City have always denied any wrongdoing um, and say they have irrefutable evidence. Not looking easy for uh, for all these haters, is it? Um, which will clear them. They have employed Lord Panic. <laughs> what a surname. Lord Panic KC to lead the club's defence against the charges. Anyway, we won't bother waffling on because it just goes over old stuff. But I wanted to share that with you because there's an awful lot of people chatting rubbish. Oh, they're getting sued. Nobody sued them, mate. No team has sued them yet. No team has done that. So all these fans that are waffling and chatting rubbish and telling the world 115 and you're this and you're that. How about just wait for the hearing, innit? Yeah. How about wait for the hearing? That article, yeah, has confirmed nobody's been sued. So I don't quite know where we're going with this. But again, like I said, Man City hate and fear is an illness. And I'd advise every single football fan to demand more from their football club. We've seen this summer alone. Football club I support signed one player and on the verge of signing Mikel Moreno. Well done, mate. We've really overtaken City with that, haven't we? Yeah, good one. Yeah, good one. We've seen Liverpool sign nobody. We've seen Tottenham spend £65 million on a geezer who scored 19 goals last season. Well done, mate. Well done. You then brought some geezer from Leeds, Alfie Gray. Well done. You're really, you're really going to challenge for the title this season. You're going to overtake Man City with that, aren't you? Okay. We've seen Chelsea go and people traffic about a billion South Americans into the UK. Chelsea move wild. However, they have got some good players at their club, including Pedro Neto. But again, they're not going to overtake Man City, are they? We've seen Man United go out and do quite a bit of business. Two signings yesterday. Xerxes in as well. Lenny Yoro as well, obviously, albeit he's injured now. But again, are they going to overtake Man City as it stands right now? They're not, are they? So Man City will be sitting there with their feet up, pepper up the cigar, and they'll be loving life. They were going, well, this is easy, isn't it? None of this lot are serious. They're not, these clubs are not serious. Yeah, and listen, whether you agree with what I'm saying or not is entirely up to you. However, this sum has proved it again. My club were millimetres away from winning the title last season, and we've signed a defender that we didn't really need. And a midfielder that ain't that good. He's their third best def- uh, sorry, third best midfielder at Sociedad. So I don't really understand why people always get onto Man City. Right? Demand more from your own club. Make your club better. Yeah, make your club better. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and feelings and all of that. Um, leave it in the comment section down below. Make sure you are subscribed. Like I said, we're soaring like an eagle. Towards 35,000 subscribers. Come on, bosh. And uh, make sure you stick a thumbs up on the video. Um, let's see if we can hit a thousand likes, guys. That would be fantastic. And uh, I will be back on here later. Uh, Real Madrid will change the Algeria shirt to the Madrid shirt. And we'll watch a proper football club that actually do demand to win and do have fans that demand to win. Go and win again tonight. Yet another trophy. I might actually go and buy myself a nice cigar in preparation. Um, so, yes, uh, make sure you check that out. After that, on the main channel, League Gunner channel, um, I will be doing an emergency meeting. Um, so, yeah, make sure you come and check that out about 10 o'clock UK time, unless the game goes to extra time. And obviously, I'll have to nudge it back. But, yeah, bless up to everyone who's locked in. Um, make sure that when you see all of these um, people chatting rubbish, uh, make sure you actually go and do your own research, because not many people probably would have known that that is the actual story. They would have just go, oh, my God, which is why the lie spreads quicker than the truth. So we're here to spread the truth, because we speak the truth. We don't speak waffle or nonsense. This is not Captain Bird's eye, bruv. We don't speak waffle. Have a wonderful evening, and uh, I'll see you for the Madrid watch-along. Bush, hala Madridi, nada mas. Edu out, everyone out.